gorgeous people welcome back to my channel and uh, yeah this is me raw okay <laughs> i'm actually just getting ready for an event that i have today which is actually so exciting it's an event for keys skincare which is from alicia keys and guess what guys she's actually gonna be there okay like, i feel like this is the first time an actual celebrity celebrity comes out to an event here in Canada. So I ain't gonna miss that one. And I actually really like her skincare line. I've talked about it before. I really like the serum. The moisturizer is really nice. So excited to hear more about the brand and all that stuff. I just washed my hair yesterday and it smells so good. It feels so soft. I used the um, Head & Shoulders Supreme collection which i am obsessed with right now so my hair is feeling very nice i literally have about an hour to get ready and leave my house i live pretty far away from the venue about an hour away so your girl has to speed it up i'm gonna be using the steam pod from l'oreal this little gadget over here you guys have heard me say something about this many many times and I love it because it's so fast to dry or straighten my hair with a steam pod. So I know that I have time. If it was just a regular straightener, I promise you I would need at least an hour. But with the steam pod, the good thing about it is I don't need to blow dry my hair before using it. And I still get this nice smooth finish. moisturizer this is from Burt's Bees right here my birds are acting crazy right now just like that oh I need some hydration in my life my face feels so dry foundation I'm using this one over here this is the new one from Tom Ford not new new to me this is the shade and illuminate soft radiance foundation in the shade tawny so Oh my god, it looks so good. I love this foundation. Guys, this is like one of the best foundations I've ever tried. It literally looks like my skin is airbrushed. At some point, I'm going to stop talking and just speed through my makeup. So if I do, I'm in a rush. Excusez-moi, excusez-moi. This is my contour stick from Merit Beauty. I'm just gonna apply a little contour here. And then for concealer, I'm gonna do my Fenty Beauty. Right here. And a little here. And then I'm going to apply my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer right on top to brighten up that area. Just like that. Um, I, I can't even see what I'm doing. I don't even have a mirror in front of me. So let's do the contour. Just patting that in nicely. This is what happens when you wait last minute to do everything. 
you start to panic. I mean, like, I'm not late, but I want to arrive a little early. That's my thing. I don't want to be late at all. I'd rather be early than late. So that's why hmm, I'm rushing. I need to set this. I need to set it because it's getting a little too dewy. And then that concealer. We're going to go ahead and blend that out. Just like so. Powder, please powder me up. Using the NARS Light Reflecting Powder. Okay, that's oh, much better. Oh my gosh. My face was melting. What is going on? Okay. Okay. What better? I felt like my face was literally melting off. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of the blush from here and apply that. I actually just got to the event. I can continue vlogging while I was doing my makeup but here is what we have going on I'll show you guys my outfit of the day real soon but we're actually at the hotel there's a big lineup I think you have to wait over there to get into the event but the hotel is super chic and beautiful I'll show you guys what it looks like it's really loud so I hope you guys can hear me but let me give you guys a quick outfit of the day let me see if I can prop you So that is what I'm wearing for today. I got my little LV pochette and I'm gonna go wait in line. I know a couple of people that are coming from my agency. I'm so excited to meet in person. So waiting for them and uh, looks like it's gonna be a fun night. So guys, I am back home now and uh, I actually got home probably like an hour ago or a little bit more. We're going to chill, watch some TV, just ordered a pizza because there was no food at the event. It was like, you know, those tiny little hand food, wasn't feeling it, but the event was really nice. I got to see so many other content creators there and um, I got to see a couple of the people from my management team and they were so nice to actually meet in person so i'm glad i went I, I was this close to not going but i'm glad i went and uh yeah i will check with you guys tomorrow <laughs> Gorgeous people, it is early mornings. It's actually nine o'clock, it's not that early. I just dropped off the kids at school and I'm stopping by Starbucks. Yes, I have a problem. Honestly, I have a coffee machine at home and I use it quite frequently, but I just ran out of my coffee beans a couple of days ago and that's why I am hitting up Starbucks on the regular, but don't worry. We're gonna get back to making our own coffee but i don't know if i want coffee today i might get their honey citrus mint tea if you've never tried it try it especially if you like very 
citrusy hot drinks it's so delicious it's really great if you have a cold um or am i gonna get a macchiato again anyways um yesterday's event was so much fun honestly guys i was so close to not going to the event i'm a homebody i am that type of person that will cancel on your ass in like you know a matter of hours uh, I have to break that habit because I got to be a little bit more social, especially in my work field. I think it's so important to network and really get to know my peers. And yesterday at that event, because Alicia Keys were there, was there, I don't think anyone was going to miss it. There was so many familiar faces, like literally every influencer that is based out of Toronto was there not just beauty influencers I feel like all sorts of influencer was there and it was really great to see people um, I didn't talk to a ton of people to be really honest with you guys because why why because I don't know I really don't know people's personality in person and if they're approachable or not but at the same time I have to get out of my head and thinking that way because maybe that's what they're thinking too right about me so I kind of just gotta you know free up Ooh, the lighting's a little bit dark I kind of just gotta free up and if I want to say hi to someone say hi why is my camera zooming in on my face back up so I'm making a point this summer to attend all of the events I get invited to and really just have fun with it and enjoy the moment. Yesterday, I enjoyed having conversations with some incredible people. I got to see some of the people from my agency that was so good to talk to and just feel out their vibe. And everyone was honestly just so genuinely nice and down to earth which is that's my vibe you know like let's leave the influencer number stuff out of the way and let's just vibe let's just talk like human beings and um i got to do that it was just me you know sometimes you, you gotta have a little bit of me time you know and just go out there and have fun so it was fun um alicia key seems like a very like beautiful soul like you can definitely tell she's very genuine in the way that she talks so it was great to hear her talk about her skin line and like the philosophy behind it and i actually think that the marketing is genius like the entire self-care marketing behind it is beautiful and it's very on brand with her because she's been talking about stuff like that for years so it makes sense that they really um made that the focal point of her skincare line and it kind of makes it stand out because there are a million skincare lines out there in 2022 so i like it it was fun it was great made me excited to get out more and you know meet other creators and uh just enjoy it so yeah now i'm at starbucks waiting in line the starbucks by my house always has a big ass lineup if you come this early thank you for choosing starbucks how can i get something for you hi can i get a honey citrus mint tea yeah what size are you looking for i'll get um a large a large yeah yep. and then i'll also do a banana loaf warmed up banana loaf warmed up yeah anything else for you um that's it that's it Nine twenty-seven. come on through thank you so today i have to shoot some content edit some content post some content today i also want to hit up sephora the sale just started today it is april 1st and get a couple of things i don't know what i'm gonna get honestly i have to go through my sephora cart and see what i placed in there there's not a lot that i'm extremely excited about but i really want to try the charlotte tilbury foundation danessa danessa myrick I'm, I'm, i hope i'm i'm saying her name right she has a new foundation that just came out too um what else did i really want to try i don't know I can't be why it's a going store, but the store is really close to here. Everything um, around my house is super close, which I'm thankful for. Like, I have the mall literally five minutes away. I have so many grocery stores. The beach is five minutes away um, from my house. Well, we have like, yeah, we have a couple of beaches close to the house, like about three of them. And then 25 minutes away, we have like a huge beach also so i love my area the highway is really close i love that everything is closed because one thing about me i do not like driving why 
I don't know. I just hate it. I hate driving. <sighs> if I don't have to drive, honey, I will not drive. Okay? Okay? I just posted a vlog yesterday. It's doing okay. I want to know, what do you guys think of vlogs? Is it focused on me? Hopefully it is. Okay, let's get my drink, actually. I'm already here. One second, guys. Hey, thank you. Perfect. There you go. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a you too. All right, guys. Got my Starbucks. And it is time to go home. I was thinking I'm already here. Should I go to Sephora? No, I should not go to Sephora. I have, yeah, no. I have to finish laundry. I got the kitchen to clean up because it's a hot mess. I left the house and you know, when the hubby's making dinner for the kids, it becomes quite messy. And when I got home, I was so lazy that I just took a shower, changed and went to bed. So I'm gonna go clean up all that mess right now. So I have time to shoot some content, edit and post all in one day, which seems very easy, but trust me guys, it's very time consuming. Um, so, yeah. I actually woke up really early before I got the kids ready and cleaned up my room. It was, it was a hot mess. I still have to put away a bunch of stuff that I have here. I still have to put away a bunch of stuff that I have on my dresser. I need to put out away some of these. This is actually the fragrances that I am wearing lately uh, for spring. But as you guys can see, this weather is not cute. Snickers. Hi, Sneak Sneak. This is my little cat, Snickers. What's well, my daughter's cat? And he is feisty. He does not care about you. But anyways, these are the fragrances that I've been wearing a lot. Love it. Why do I feel like I'm out of breath? Love them so much. Like this? I'm obsessed. Uh, honey, why did it take me so long? I am so obsessed with this fragrance. And I've been wearing um, Edol a lot lately too. It just makes me feel so sophisticated. Yesterday at the event, I actually wore Baccarat Rouge because you can never go wrong with Baccarat Rouge. But anyways... And then here are my husband's fragrances that I need to clean up and declutter a little bit too. Like this one from Parfums de Marley didn't work out for him. There are a few that I'm just not feeling anymore on him. So I'm going to declutter this and I have to put away these fragrance boxes. Some skincare that I have been playing around with for the last couple of weeks and I am obsessed. Osha, this Right here, this nighttime serum is everything to me. You guys will hear about it very soon. The body oil is incredible. We have the body butter, which is so rich and lovely. But you guys will hear about it very soon. And then I bought a few things from the drugstore the other day. Um, this little mascara, Revlon bronzer. And then I just got some bloating vitamins to help me with my bloating. So I feel like I'm so bloated when I wake up in the morning. Today, it's actually not that bad and your girl honey your girl's been working out and she's looking let me show you guys this set that i found on amazon how adorable is this set okay like are you kidding me right now it is so cute this is a dupe for the um skims set and i think it's so beautiful and cozy and so soft the quality is actually pretty good and it looks identical. So if you don't want to spend your moolah on the skim sets, because I think for the entire set at skims, it's like, I want to say over $200 Canadian, but you can just get this off of Amazon. And I think it's under like $30. <laughs>
So I want them in other colors, but I just got this like off-white tone and I think it's so comfortable and cozy. This is a size medium, which fits me perfectly fine, like perfectly fine. I actually got these socks off of Amazon too. Guys, I'm obsessed with Amazon. These are a dupe for the Aritzia socks. They're so comfy, super affordable. You get a ton of them in a bag and I'm going to order more. What's, what does it say on there? I don't even know. Hue? Anyways, but yeah, they're super comfy and cozy and I needed some socks anyway. So Amazon is the way to go lately. I'm telling you, like if you can find it on Amazon, get it off of Amazon. But this set over here, recommend. Okay, now I am going to go downstairs, but I will link this set um, down below uh, in the description box, as well as the socks. I actually have an Amazon storefront. So if you guys ever hear me talk about any Amazon purchases that I've made, it's usually in my storefront. So just hit it up. It's always linked down below. Ooh, let me show you guys what we got from the event yesterday. So we got some skincare, which I'm so excited to try out from Miss Key's lineup. I have tried her skincare before, I told you guys, and I think you've seen it on my channel, but we have the exfoliator, we have the cleanser, and then a mask and a cream. So really excited for the cleanser and the exfoliator. Those two products I've never tried before, so I wanna give this a try. They all smell really, really good. So that is what we got from that event, which is super generous of them. And uh, my kitchen is a hot mess. I'm not even going to show you guys. I'm not going to show you guys. I'm going to enjoy my tea. This is a honey citrus mint tea. They put two tea bags in there, which is a green tea and then a peach tea. They have lemonade, like hot lemonade in here. Not a lot of sugar and it tastes so good. And then I'm going to have my little banana loaf. Finish that up and get the cleaning. Look at the mess, look at the mess. Don't look. So I finished all my cleaning, all my emails. I edited a reel, posted it already. And now I'm about to um, film my Sephora recommendations video, but I just got this in the mail. These are some pants from Banana Republic that look so good. They look very similar to the Aritzia Effortless pants. And they were on sale for like $50 instead of $150. So it came really fast. Let's try it on. Okay, guys. These are so cute. I mean, they fit so well. These are a size medium that I got. This is no Spanx. I already done a lot of eating. So the belly is a little, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I love how like effortless they look. They're very chic. They have almost like almost a linen material but not quite there they feel so comfortable not too see-through because you know some of these pants like this that are uh, white or off-white can be quite see-through they're not super see-through but I mean you got to be careful with the underwear but I am just loving the way that they fit the way they go down here you can wear these with like flats some sandals or a little bit of a heel and it'll still look nice I mean wow I don't have a I think it's so cute you know what i'm saying the butt area is looking good looking good love them love them i mean what a good sale i love the detailing of the front right here there's a little button here i just love this this detail right here obviously they need to get you know ironed but honey so i am just going to quickly do my makeup for my video and I thought I would share with you guys what I'm doing to my face. It's the usual, guys, the usual. I don't venture to outside of the box when it comes to my makeup, but um, yeah, I thought I'd include it in this little vloggy vlog, um, what I'll be doing. Where is all my makeup? Everything's all over the place. I try to organize my filming space. I still have a lot of work to do. I want to change out my background before I start filming down there again. So maybe tomorrow I'll hit up HomeSense because I really want to get a few little decor pieces to put behind me. 
Yeah, I don't have anything on my face. I'm thinking, should I apply anything? And the answer is no. Like, it feels a little gritty for some reason. Like, my moisturizer is almost, like, peeling off. But anyways, I am going to use this foundation. It's a newer foundation, and I am so obsessed with it. It's the Tom Ford Radiant and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. No, I said that wrong. Okay, it is the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation with SPF. And that is what it looks like over here. The packaging is gorgeous, like so stunning. Oh my God, even when you put like the lid on it, it's even more stunning. Like, oof. I just got this recently at um, Nordstrom and I'm doing about a pump and a half of that. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. And look at, like, look how easy it goes on the skin. Like, I kid you not, this is the most, like, blendable foundation ever. Aside from NARS, because NARS is quite good. But this just blends like a dream. Oh, my God. And the color match is actually really, really good. This is in the shade, did I tell you guys? Tawny. So if you are using me as a reference, this is a great shade. It is 7.0 Tawny and it matches me perfectly. And I'm just going to apply that all over the skin. So flawless. I mean, love it. It's definitely to me more of a medium coverage. I'm not sure if you can build it up to full coverage, but gorgeous. And then I'm going to do a little of my concealer from Fenty Beauty, this one over here. This is in the shade 330. I lay that down first to cancel out the dark circles. And then I'm going to put a little of the NARS on top to give some brightness. Right there. I'm going to put it here too. Just like that. And then sometimes I like to put it here to cancel out my smile lines because they can get quite vicious. I have a little bit of blemishes just over here. And I'm just going to do that. Yeah, that is it. That is that. So for cream contouring, Merit, Merit, Merit. I've been using this so much. I'm going to feature a bunch of these products in my Sephora recommendations because they have just been my go-to products for makeup absolutely worth it and my camera is dying lovely um so i'm going to take actually the merit brush over here and just blend out that contour i love that it's so easy to blend like literally i'm just patting that product in and it's melting into my skin like look at that literally melting into the skin oh if you've ever wanted to try a cream product, but they are hard to work with, get you this stick. It's so good. Look at that. Um, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to blend out the concealer right here where my smile line's in. I like to just go in with the same brush that I use for foundation. Make sure it's not too bright and it just blends into my foundation nicely, but like highlights this area so you don't see the small lines as much as you did before it's not like emphasized you know what i mean there we go okay so now for my concealer i'm going in with this brush and i'm just going to go ahead and pat 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 that until it just blends nicely and i like to do the patting motion rather than like swirling because it keeps the product exactly where i placed it and then I just drag that coverage to the end right here and lift that up. I bring that concealer up because it really lifts the eye. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell the difference, but it lifts the eye ever so slightly. So I like to bring that up. And I know some of the ladies do a much lighter concealer and it's definitely going to give you a brighter wide awake look but I like to go for a more natural soft focus look so that's why I don't do concealers that are super light anymore I go pretty close 
to my skin tone. And um, if you do that, you get a much more natural kind of finish. If that's what you're going for, you know what I mean? I used to love more dramatic makeup about five, six years ago, but now um, it's just not my thing anymore. To be honest, I don't think I love dramatic makeup. I think I was just in the moment. That was the thing, you know, doing lots of colors, lots of lashes, lots of highlight and contour. That was the thing back in the days. And so that trend is like, it's still there, but it's slowly dying down. I feel like the trend is definitely a more natural approach. And I love that because that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my NARS light reflecting powder absolutely i love this stuff so much and i am going to lightly set the under eye area like that this powder is gorgeous around the t-zone area don't like too much shine i'm actually just gonna slightly mattify not mattify but set everywhere else this is a light reflecting powder so it's not going to give you a super matte look it's just going to set your makeup ever so slightly without it looking too like powdery and this big brush i normally use my powder bronzer but i'm not adding any more product i'm just kind of going over those areas Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. For the eyes, I am just going to take some of this blush over here and a little tiny bit of this one, and I am going to apply that all over the eyes very softly, like that. That's what we're working with. I'm gonna apply some of that under the lash line. Just to tie it all together very lightly. Great, 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 great. And then for mascara, my favorite, you guys know, the Badass Black Mascara from Tom Ford. Okay, this one's totally dried out. This is definitely a done deal, but I already have a backup because I love this mascara so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And for lips, I'm doing this NARS Cosmetic Lip Gloss. I wore this also yesterday for the Keys event, and it looked so pretty. Really soft color. I might put a little lip liner, but don't need it. So cute, and this is my makeup look. Forgot blush, forgot blush, almost forgot blush. I'm gonna take this color over here. Um, Yeah, that color is perfect. Just like so. Oh, look how, look how blush just ties everything together. Like, wow. That is such a pretty blush. Mm. This is actually the Afterglow Cheek Palette for anyone who is wondering. Highly recommend. Has everything that I need. So yeah, this is my makeup look for today. And I'm just going to put a little brow gel in my eyebrows. Slightly curl my hair like the ends a little bit change my top and I am going to start filming because it's getting a little bit dark and I wanted to use natural lighting plus I have to charge this up so I can use my camera to film this video and um yeah guys let me get to work okay so I just finished filming my Sephora recommendations video and my room why is the camera so close to my face I'm still getting used to this my room is a hot mess like I really need to clean up now it's getting late my husband and I are gonna hit up the gym right now because we really need to go to the gym we didn't go yesterday so we're gonna hit up the gym and then come home and have dinner but yeah this is where I'm gonna end the vlog for today um I can't believe I finished that video it felt like 
it was so long because I talked about so many products but I got it out of the way the lighting is going down but we still did an amazing job and honestly this camera has great lighting because my big Canon camera which is like right here this camera over here if I was to use that right now it would be so shadowy and dark but this one gives off amazing lighting so I'm really impressed with this one but look at the mess that we have to clean right now so these are some of the products that I recommended some fragrances over here so yeah guys I am going to clean up all of this mess wash my face get changed hit the gym so I can come back and we can have dinner so I'll check back with you guys later but if I don't come back i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video thank you for tuning in on another vlog i will have a weekly vlog so please be sure to support this new content leave your comments leave your likes share and all of that good stuff and i will see you guys on the next video ciao